temporarily on the part of the Belize National Commission for UNESCO. I present to you this check for fifty one thousand one hundred and seventy five fifty three. Is that correct? Father? Yes, 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 <laughs> Minister. And I hope that the, uh, the initiative of Peace in the Park will really be a tremendous uh, action, one that will, of course, see, uh, as the Reverend described, some relief, especially for the uh, terrible crime situation here in Belize City. And with that, Restore Belize was gifted with over $50,000 to invest in their Peace in the Park program. This year's donation will be used to promote educational and cultural activities in crime-ridden neighborhoods in Belize City. We particularly focus on agent areas where we have seen communities being affected by crime and we go back to parks in that area and we bring life to that park. In some cases it means we are fixing up a park in some cases in this particular instance. This year we have formed an, a relationship with Yatta that is run and um, he is the director of that program and he does advocacy through Tater, Mr. Joseph Stamp Romero and so we are supporting their work where they bring out youths, they train them in drama, and this is actually going to facilitate us in getting out the word about um, the issues that girls face in the community. Can you talk to us about the impact of these projects in terms of the different communities that you implement them in? Well, what we do when we are coming to a community, we invite out the community so we go around before the date that we have scheduled to be there and we issue flyers sometimes we do radio announcements to let the community know that we are doing this we like particularly the fact that this time around we will be doing a lot of work in the area of trauma because one it gives young persons an opportunity to showcase their talents through the arts which builds self-esteem but also we will go into the communities and show them issues that they are facing and when you see the response of the community where the, the audience is so engaged but then there's always a twist in the play where they see an out the, the, the play showcases an out for somebody who is facing, for example, in this case, sleepless girls, where the community will get to see what is something that you can do if you're faced with that issue of molestation and you're dealing with that as a young girl. This donation marks UNESCO's second contribution to restore Belize's Peace in the Park program. UNESCO side saw that they were so successful in, in their first project that they decided to give them another uh, um, um, initiative another a resource of 26,000 US dollars this time. Now UNESCO gives these initiatives every two years, every biennium. And so Roger, if they use this check wisely and effectively, uh, 2016, January 2016, they can apply for another project. And so <laughs> if we prioritize it, that, that it's, it's worth it for, for Belize and Restore Belize and Southside Belize, then they can be approved again. Reporting for News 5, I'm Andrea Polanco.